All right, I'm out here with my 3D printed drone again, and I'm gonna show you a couple changes that I made to it. Uh, first of all, I made it a little wider, so notice how it's closer here than it is here, and that's so that I can put this uh, TF Mini Plus LiDAR unit in it. I took the Matek LiDAR slash optical flow out. Uh, the optical flow only went up to like two meters, so that's pretty useless anyway. So I went ahead and put this better uh, LiDAR sensor in here. So we'll see how that does. So for today's test, we're going to be testing this out. And also I made a infrared camera using um, Raspberry Pi that's in here with an infrared camera in the front. So we'll test that at a later, at a later time. Uh, I do have it. I'm running it with FPV. So we'll go ahead and test it out and see how that looks. Now I'm going to be monitoring the FPV with this uh, Emacs Transporter 2 screen. It comes with the screen and goggles. Took the goggles off just using the screen. So we're going to go ahead and monitor it on this. And it has an SD card, so we'll try to record um, what the drone's seeing and see how that works. Let's go ahead and turn the transmitter on first. Welcome to OpenTX. Warning. Switch warning. Okay, got it set. I'll turn this on. We'll go ahead and hit record. I think it's recording. Okay, I forgot to hit record. What I did was I went ahead and turned it on, hit record. Raspberry Pi is booting up. It's been booting up for about um, almost a minute. So what it's going to do, it's going to boot up, and then I have it set to automatically load the FPV screen. Automatically load the camera. So we'll see if we can use this infrared camera as an FPV camera as soon as it gets ready. And it is ready. All right, let's go ahead and try to fly it around. Okay, that's an angle mode. I'm going to go ahead and try to switch it to altitude hold mode. See if it holds the altitude. Put my sticks to the middle. Go ahead and do it again. Give my sticks are in the middle, I'm trying to have it uh, maintain the altitude. I don't think it's using the sonar yet, so I'll go ahead and put it into surface mode. And I set that up with my sticks on the right. Bring it down. I'll go ahead and flick this one. This should be surface mode. So I'm not touching it. And it's not hitting the ground. Let's see if it goes down with the terrain. And it is, we'll bring it back. So I'm going uphill, so it should be hitting the ground if it was at the same altitude. So that's telling me that surface mode is working. So I'll just bring it up a little bit. So it looks like that's the max height I can have it set for using this surface mode right there. So what I have to do is go into the parameters and see if I can change that. That only looks about two feet. 
and I wanted to um, be able to climb a little higher but I do know surface mode is working with this again I'll go down let me take it off the dog's gonna try to get it okay now I'll just fly it around FPV I could throw some goggles on here and see how it looks. I'm just flying it using the screen here. So only have 1100 milliamp hour battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. All right, that's it for this video. I just wanted to see if surface mode was gonna work with this LiDAR. It, obviously that it has it set um, for maximum distance for maximum height looks to be around two feet or one meter or so so I need to go ahead and adjust that somewhere in the uh, iNav and we'll see where that is uh, but all in all it worked the camera worked um, for FPV outside I'll go ahead and my next video I'll try to get this working and make it um, go a little higher oh, looks like I forgot to screw try to make it go a little higher um, using the surface mode and also uh, get this working inside so I'll, I'll tell you the reason for this is that this could be um, some kind of a, a search and rescue drone for inside uh, it has the infrared it has um, lidar to, to make it a little easier to fly I went ahead and took the GPS this is the connection here I have for GPS I don't have it connected because what I'm thinking if I'm trying to make this an indoor drone um, I'm not going to have return to home for GPS set on it because uh, if you're inside and you hit return to home that wouldn't be too good and uh, For using night nighttime operations if you were to fly this indoors the optical flow wouldn't be any good anyway So you'd only need a lidar to try to maintain its its um, height and for positioning you wouldn't be able to do that So to keep it cheap. I just went ahead and used one lidar and we're using the infrared that I have connected to the Raspberry Pi, and uh, we'll see how that does inside. All right, so stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to be doing more testing with this. Uh, hopefully, I can get this working as a good indoor quad for it, daytime and nighttime. And the reason why I use the screen here is because I want to be able to, um, for you to not have to have goggles on if you wanted to just get it out there, fly indoors, look around. Uh, you're not. You don't have to have goggles on to do that. You can just do it by simply having your screen attached to the front. All right, that's it for the video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.